Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Affordable Flyers, Timber Tiger Speedster is flying. Experimental category accidents down in fiscal 2024. DJI unveils new Air 3S drone. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to Airborne Affordable Flyers, our programming designed to help you get and stay in aviation as affordably as possible. Overseen by the editorial staff of the award-winning Sportplane Resource Guide, we know well the challenges faced by today's sport flyers and we're here to help you enjoy flying to the utmost. Let's get into today's stories. Timber Tiger Speedster is flying. Timber Tiger's Speedster has flown and is producing solid data necessary to get the bird into production later this year. Wing root fairings are due for some modification to allow for better airflow, but other than that, the rest of the airplane seems to be acquitting itself well. Timber Tiger aircraft will shortly begin the manufacturing phase of its Speedster. Following in the footsteps of previous Timber Tiger designs, the aircraft blends classic style with modern engineering. The classy meets modern design boasts impressive specifications, including a 49-knot dirty and 58-59-knot to clean stall speed. Using a 158-horsepower Werner Scarlet 9S, it offers a cruise speed of 120 to 130 knots and a max speed of 165 knots to ensure safe aerobatic handling. The Speedster features a classic aesthetic reminiscent of other Timber Tiger aircraft like the Jenny and STL, while integrating a modern propeller, tailwheel design, and carbon fiber accents. Owner Nick Fannensteel commented, quote, The builder isn't confined to a box. It's not a replica. It's whatever they want, end quote. Construction of the kit is published to take around 1,200 hours. The all-in price sits at eighty dollars to $85,000, depending on the needs of the buyer. We've been promised a flight test in the near future. We'll let you know what we think. And after the break, 2025 National Championship Air Race dates announced. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Looking for a new generation of proven and efficient aviation power plants that boast modern engineering, electronic ignition, and both direct and gear drive systems? With 100 horsepower to 240 horsepower, the Skyline and Redline engines offer uncommon value in an overpriced industry. Whether you are looking for fixed wing or rotor, MW Fly Americas has been established to service the American market with dedication and expertise. MWFlyAmericas.com Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. 2025 National Championship Air Race dates announced. The dates have been announced for the 2025 National Championship Air Races in Roswell, New Mexico. They will be held beginning Wednesday, September 10th through Sunday, September 14th, and all seven classes of aircraft will be competing. New course layouts have been designed. Air race pilots will be expected to fly the proposed course in the coming months before the Pylon Racing Seminar is held in Roswell in May 2025. Free flight legend Bill Moyes goes west at 92. Bill Moyes, a record-setting hang glider pilot and entrepreneur, has gone west. 
He was a legend in free flight and is known to be one of the founding fathers of hang gliding. His family announced his death on social media, stating, quote, Bill Moyes passed peacefully away this evening, surrounded by his loving wife of 73 years, kids, grandkids, and great-grandkids, end quote. His company became one of the leading hang glider manufacturers for over 50 years. Wright B Flyer Replica Executes Emergency Landing a Wright B Flyer replica aircraft was forced to execute an emergency landing after experiencing an engine fire in flight. The pilots fortunately were able to walk away unharmed. The aircraft took off from Wright-Patterson AFB at around 4.47 p.m. It was performing an aerial flyover as part of Wright Field's 97th anniversary celebration. Then at approximately 5.07 p.m., it experienced a malfunction that led to the engine catching fire. The Wright B Flyer Museum in Dayton is investigating the forced emergency landing. FAI World Canopy Piloting Championship goes to Kurt Bartholomew. The recent 10th World Air Sports Federation World Canopy Piloting Championships and 4th FAI World Canopy Piloting Freestyle in Pretoria, South Africa featured an intense competition and challenging weather. But USA's Kurt Bartholomew's superior skills in accuracy, speed, and distance earned him the top spot on the podium overall to garner another gold medal. The vice champion was Abdelbari Kobazi of UAE for his results in the accuracy segment, and taking the bronze was Argentina's Marcos Darman. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Experimental category accidents down in fiscal 2024. EAA reports that for the FAA's fiscal year, which ended September 30, 2024, preliminary accident totals in the experimental category were below the agency's goal, marking an excellent safety record for the year. The FAA had set a not-to-exceed goal of 46 accidents, and although the total is not yet finalized, the initial number of 37 accidents is well below that. Of those, 29 involved fatal injuries in home-built aircraft. The final tally will be made available in a few weeks, but the number still reflects a much improved year for safety despite an increase in the total number of flight hours. The EAA and FAA's Office of Accident Investigation and Prevention worked together in a collaborative effort to track fatal experimental aircraft accidents through the fiscal year. The FAA sets a not-to-exceed number based on a 1% reduction in the previous three-year average accident totals. The goal is a 10% reduction in 10 years, beginning in fiscal 2011. Monthly goals are also tracked as flying hours vary from month to month. Long-standing EAA programs that are focused on safety include the Technical Counselor and Flight Advisory Programs. The group also publishes its EAA Flight Test Manual that is about to be updated in its second edition. After these messages, DJI unveils new Air 3S drone. The legendary BD-4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The SureWings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD-4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD-4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit SureWings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. 
If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to caneschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. DJI unveils new Air 3S drone. DJI recently unveiled its Air 3S, an updated version of the previous Air 3 model. Though the two drones share many common features, the Air 3S contains several safety and quality upgrades. The DJI Air 3S has two cameras. The primary camera has a 1-inch sensor, 24mm focal length, and f1.8 aperture with 14 stops of dynamic range, producing 4K 60 frames per second HDR videos, 4K 120 frames per second slow-mo videos in D-Log M mode, and 50 megapixel photos. The secondary is a 70mm medium telecamera with a 48 megapixel 1 1.3 inch sensor, f2.8 aperture, and again 14 stops of dynamic range. It produces the same video specs as the main camera. Both of these use an entirely new processing platform and algorithm for improved detail preservation in low light conditions. Another new feature of the Air 3S is its free panorama mode. The drone can be set to begin a panorama from a given angle and stop at another, allowing users to completely customize the captured scene. This mode works with both the 24mm 1X and 70mm 3X cameras. Then the image can be exported as a pre-stitched JPEG or as RAW for manual stitching. The DJI Air 3S single version comes with the drone, one battery, and an RCN3 remote for a total of $1,099. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.